What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to show you how to easily install the Google Mobile services on basically any Huawei device that runs Android 10. After you install the Google Mobile services, most applications from Google will work. So I have um, the YouTube app, I have the Google Play Store, Google Maps works, um, Chrome works. Unfortunately, Google Pay still doesn't work, so you're not going to be able to make payments um, with the phone. For this installation process, you don't need um, any USB stick or computer. You can download the file right onto the phone and go from there. And to find the, the file that you need, uh, please check the video's description. The link will be in there. And with that being said, let's turn the camera around and I'll show you step by step how to install the Google mobile services on your Huawei device. All right, so the first thing you want to do is remove the SIM card from uh, your phone. So you have to do that. And next you have to do a factory reset. Keep in mind that whenever you're going to be doing a factory reset, you're going to lose everything that um, you have on your phone. So keep that in mind. So factory reset, reset phone, reset phone. And um, I guess I'll be back when um, this is done. All right, so the phone is back on and we're going to go through the setup um, process. So we'll uh, go through it very quickly. So skip, connect to Wi-Fi. So you have to connect to Wi-Fi. Once this is done, um, go to the next step. So next, next. We can skip this step. Skip, enable, enable, enable. Set up as a new device, try gestures, close that, finish and we don't want to install any of those. All right, so the phone is now set. Next, you're going to open the browser on it. Next, agree. And uh, you're going to find the link to download the installation file um, in the video's description. So you can also see the link on the screen. So enter that uh, link that you see on the screen. Now, in the future, if this link doesn't work anymore, I will update the link in the video's description. So keep that in mind. Um, always look in the video's description for the updated uh, link. So click download. You may have to click download um, at the top there and probably one more time. So click download. And just wait till uh, it says that uh, the file was downloaded. It should take a few seconds depending on um, your internet connection. All right, so the download is now complete. You can leave the browser. All right, next um, we're going to open the settings app. Here we're going to go to apps. At apps here, we're going to go to apps once again. At the top here, we'll select show system processes. Here we'll uh, look for backup. And you're going to uninstall this. So that's done and you can exit that. All right, next we're going to open the files app. Here we're going to go to internal storage. At the internal storage, you're going to go to download browser. And this is the file that um, you downloaded earlier. So click on it. Extract to and select OK. Now, if you open this, you're going to notice two folders. So the Huawei folder, you're going to hold your finger pressed on it for a second. You're going to click on move. You're going to select other location, internal storage. You're going to press move. You're going to apply to all and merge. And that is done. So now you can exit this. So now you can close everything that you have running in the background, but um, we'll open the files app once again. We'll go to internal storage, we'll go to download browser, and here we have um, all the apps that we um, installed earlier, that we downloaded basically and extracted. So first you're going to install number one. Don't uh, ask me again, allow and install. Done and exit that, go to settings. At settings here, we're going to go down to system and updates. We'll go to date and time. We'll deselect the first one here, so set automatically. And we'll change the time to 2019 and press OK and go back. Next, we're going to go to backup and restore. So still here. Click next, agree. 
and at the top here you're gonna select restore from internal storage and restore and you're gonna enter this password here and you can also see the password on the screen press ok and done so this is done so you can exit that and now you should be having uh, the blue g app uh, installed so it's usually on the second page all right so um, now that uh, you're gonna open this now if this doesn't open on your phone this method is not gonna work for you so keep that in mind if uh, it stops here and uh, you're not gonna get to these screens yeah it's not gonna not gonna work for you so you're gonna press the blue button here you're gonna exit that you'll go back to settings system and updates date and time and you're gonna select the time uh, to automatic uh, once again and then you can exit everything next we're opening the files app once again and now we're gonna install uh, everything from 2 to 7 so just click on them install wait for it wait for it done number three install done number four install done number five install done number six install done and number seven install and done and once again you can exit all this next we are going to settings here at settings we are gonna find um, users and accounts here it gets a bit tricky depending on your luck so you're gonna press google press ok select existing and uh, it will take um, a few seconds and here at the top click on browser sign in press ok and this will open here you're gonna enter your gmail account and of course you're gonna click next and then enter your password and now it really depends how lucky you are for some people as soon as you press next uh, it's gonna log in uh, to your uh, gmail account for some you'll get an error and for some you'll be stuck uh, on a loading page so i'm not sure what's gonna happen now but anyways uh, you basically just uh, do what i do so click next so if you get this you're gonna have to press next quite a few times you basically want to get stuck on that sign in uh, screen so click next quite a few times so you want to get stuck on that so exit this leave it running in the background go to files and here install number eight so google services framework done and then go back to this so it's already signed in so now we are signed in because we are getting notifications saying that uh, the phone is not google certified and we also have the play store let me turn off the sound We'll close all those and now the play store should actually work so as you can probably see here uh, the play store uh, does uh, work so that's uh, that's good all right so now uh, we can exit all this and you can probably close everything running in the background so if you are one of the lucky ones that uh, signed into their accounts uh, right away uh, you need to install the framework now so uh, what i just installed earlier but uh, if you aren't lucky like uh, me, you already have the framework uh, installed. So remember to install this one if you haven't um, already. All right, so next um, we basically go uh, exit this. We're gonna go to settings here. We're gonna go to apps. Here at apps, we're gonna see system processes. We're gonna search for Google. And uh, basically, we'll uninstall the Google Play services. So click uninstall. Exit this. Go back to files. Here at files, um, we're going to reinstall that. So go downloads browser. And we're going to install the one at the bottom here. So number 10, basically. 
I'll give it a second. Done. Let's close everything that we have running in the background. And now we'll see if the Play Store actually works. So the Play Store actually works. So we may be, we may be pretty lucky. Okay, now that the Play Store works, and I don't see any notifications, but um, let's... Oh, so I see a notification. Let's uh, turn off the phone. So we'll do a restart. So just hold the power button pressed, restart and wait till the phone comes back on. Okay, so now the phone is back on and um, we keep getting those notifications, but that's, uh, that's okay. Let's just open the Play Store and make sure that everything still works. Perfect, so let's close that. Next, we're going to go to settings once again. We'll go to apps. We'll go to apps once again, show system processes. We'll search for Google. Now we're basically trying to get rid of all those uh, notifications. And here at Google Services Framework, you're basically going to go to storage, clear data, and then you will restart the phone once again. So just wait till the phone comes back on. So some of you may be lucky enough and not get any more notifications at this point. We'll see what happens to mine. No notifications quite yet, but we'll see if the Play Store actually works. -na -na -na. So hopefully it does. We'll um, give it a second to load. We'll actually close everything from the background. We'll open uh, the Play Store once again. So unfortunately, this doesn't work anymore. For some of you, this may actually work. And if that happens and you don't get any more notifications, you are done. This is uh, it. If it happens what it happened uh, on my phone, we have to do some more uh, things next. All right. So next, we're going to go to settings once again, apps once again, apps once again, show system processes, search for Google once again. Play services will uninstall this one. We'll go back to files, internal storage, download browser, and we're going to install the second one this time. We'll have to uninstall this one after uh, it works again and reinstall the other one. So again, we'll have to see when the notifications stop it may take you like five ten tries it really depends on your luck when i've done this the first time uh, it actually worked the first time so it really really depends on your luck so close everything you have running in the background see if the google play store works at least we are getting those notifications that's good so close that open it again So it kind of works, yeah. So now we're gonna uninstall uh, this again and reinstall the other one. So settings once again, apps once again, apps, show system processes. So we are uninstalling this one once again, exit this, close everything, go back to files, And we're going to install the one at the bottom uh, once again. So we're basically trying to get this one uh, to work. So we'll give it a second, press done. And let's see if we're lucky. So let's close that again. So unfortunately it does not uh, work. So once again, we'll have to uninstall it, but we're getting the notifications again. Let's check again. No, so um, we're getting the notifications. Let's go to settings quickly. Users and accounts, add an account, Google, existing, browser sign in. And let's see if the Play Store works now. No, so that means that um, we have to uninstall it and reinstall the other one uh, once again. So as I said, this uh, takes quite uh, quite some uh, time and a lot of uh, patience, unfortunately. 
but you may be one of the lucky ones that uh, this will work uh, the first time uh, when you sign in. So we'll see. Uh, okay, so files once again, internal storage, download. I'll give it a second. Done. Let's close everything that we have running in the background. Let's try the Play Store one more time. So now it works uh, again. So what I was gonna do now, let's go to settings. Let's uh, uninstall this once again. So we search for Google, uninstall once again. Next, we'll uh, go back to our uh, files. We'll reinstall the second file. Well, I mean the last one, uh, the second uh, play service is basically the one with the fix. And hopefully this was our lucky time and uh, it will work now, but we'll have to see in a bit. So done. And let's see if we are lucky this time. Come on. We'll close it and open it once again. Okay, so it works now, but um, I believe that we have the notifications, but that's okay. So let's close that. So next we'll go to settings, apps, apps once again. So maybe this is uh, our lucky time. We'll search for Google once again. Here at the services framework, we'll uh, clear the data and now we do a restart and hopefully when this starts back up um, everything works fine and we don't get any more notifications so it depends how lucky you are for some of you this um, is probably working already but for some um, you may have to do it a few times um, as I'm doing it now okay so the phone is back on uh, just let it be for like I don't know, 30 seconds so it can connect to Wi-Fi and uh, the Play Store can connect to Google. So let's give it a few seconds and hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> oh no, so it may not work uh, once again. Oh, it works and no notifications as you can probably see. So that is good. All right, next uh, let's try installing a couple of uh, Google apps. So we'll try the YouTube app first. So as you've seen, it takes a few tries, but eventually you can get those notifications to, to stop um, showing up. Uh, it took us like three times in this video, but um, I have done it once before the, the video and uh, it worked the first time. So it really depends on your luck. So we'll uh, wait a second to see if that's uh, working. Let's see Chrome. So let's install this one as well. We'll give it a second. And ideally all these apps uh, will work afterwards. So Chrome is installed. I'll just wait for it. Okay, so now let's see if the YouTube app actually opens. Look at that. And let's see if Chrome opens. So yeah, now we have the Google Play Store uh, installed on the Huawei P40 Pro. And uh, this should work on basically any Huawei device that runs um, Android 10. Alright guys, um, if you did like the video, don't forget to press that like button, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.